Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to a sales update. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you 10 recent sales in approximately 10 minutes. And be sure to stick around till the end because there's a nice sale at the end. So yeah, without further ado, we'll get on with the sales update. So number one is this Casio keyboard, SK-5. Really nice this was, but unfortunately the recording function on it wasn't working. I looked through the handbook and I feel that it was due to the fact that the, the actual uh, memory had filled up and therefore once the memory had filled up the recording function wasn't working or wouldn't you wouldn't be able to play back the recordings that you've made. So I don't know whether that could have been fixed or not but I just listed it as such and I can't believe it went all the way up to £73 plus postage. Considering I paid £5.99 for this I was really really happy, I was so happy that it got that and uh, yeah it's all sent off all been received so I'm quite happy about that. Um, number two was this rod binding thread that I got from a recent auction haul. This cost me pennies if I worked it out in the haul it cost me pennies. Really really happy to just put this on auction and get 17 quid plus postage obviously within a week the seven, seven day auction and yeah I'm really happy with that turnaround and with what I got for it so yeah and it all goes to obviously paying uh, for the auction haul and making me in profit on that so yeah quite happy with that and it was a nice little find. Uh, number three was these Corsa Come On plushies. Now you will have seen these in a recent video maybe about a week, two weeks ago, something like that and I mentioned in the video that I was going to list them for 20 quid, uh, 20 pound plus postage and that's exactly what I did. They went within a few days, really happy. Obviously I paid six pound for them. Could I have got a bit more? Maybe I could have got a bit more. Maybe I should have pushed for 25, 30 quid on these. But I was still happy for the turnaround. And obviously it gets them out and it gets a little bit of profit into reinvesting other things. So yeah, I was quite happy with that. And uh, I, was surprised, I was surprised we went so quick. I mean, I thought we'd go quite quick. But yeah, we did go pretty quick. So I was, I was really happy with that. Um, four is something unusual, really. It's a... Uh, large wooden toy box. Now the reason it's unusual in my eyes is because I wasn't going to sell this. This was um, basically there was an auction lot I got and the auction lot was inside this box and I didn't really, uh, I kind of disregarded the box when I was at the auction. I thought oh yeah well, that's, that's nothing I'll probably just end up throwing that out or something or charity in it or whatever. Um, and I got through the auction lot that was inside this big wooden box and I thought you know what, I think I'm going to put that wooden box on and I'll advertise it, advertise it as a tool chest or a, a toy chest or whatever. And that's what I did. And it got a lot of interest, it got a lot of lowball offers. Um, but finally I held out and uh, yeah, it sold for £29.99 plus postage. Now you will be thinking, oh I bet that was horrible to pack. It would have been, it really would have been. But um, actually I had a perfect box for it. Now. Obviously I could have like, you know, made sure it was wrapped loads of times in big bubble wrap and stuff like that um, and then I would have packed it that way and maybe put a, like made a box around it and stuff like that and then pallet wrapped it but I didn't really want to do that um, so I was really happy that when this sold, uh, just by sheer coincidence, I had a big massive box that fit it almost perfectly it just like sort of slid in there was a little bit of void space so I filled in the void space but it was pretty perfect so it made it, it made my life so easy actually packing that. Um, number five was this Lego Star Wars 75037 I got this as a bit of RA out of a local news agents actually um, of all places which is odd because you wouldn't th think would be uh, Lego in a news agent but there was at this local one um, but yeah I got this for 15 quid flipped it into 35 quid obviously not the same margins as I'd be looking out for with eBay stuff or maybe even other Amazon stuff but because it was RA that was an okay margin so yeah I was quite happy with that one uh, number six was something I bought 45 um, of these TDK tapes uh, brand new and sealed off Gumtree for £45, so 45 of them for £45, £1 each. And uh, I've been selling them consistently for about six months. I've made quite a lot of money off that. And um, yeah, this is just all profit now anyway. So uh, someone bought five of those, and it might have even been the last five actually, uh, for £8.99 each, so £9 each, so that was like £45 total. 
and uh, yeah, as I wrote down here, they cost me nothing because obviously I'm in, I'm in profit. So after fees, that's you know that's all profit. So I'm quite happy with that. Number seven, another Amazon sale, is this black and white two PC game. I pick these up from time to time when I see them, and uh, I believe this one cost me two pounds. So two pound into twenty quid. I'll take that all day long, really, really nice sale. Uh, number eight is something that really, really surprised me, actually. So this is a Peter Storm uh, red sort of jacket. It's nothing special. I believe it retails at about £20, around that mark, anyway, 15, 20 quid. Um, and for whatever reason, I put this on auction and it just took off. And as you can see, I got £75. Was it £75? I think it was. £75 plus postage, so I can't believe that. As I say, I just don't even know. I'm just I'm just flabbergasted with the result. It's it's just incredible, really, to think that people have bid this up. You know, there's been some sort of bidding war, and it's gone right way above retail price, way above any anyone's comprehension. And obviously, maybe some people have got in a bit of a bidding war and got their excitement and then bid it up that way. I don't know what's happened, but... Someone's obviously been willing to pay it. I did actually receive the payment and it's now been sent off. Um, I was quite worried because I hadn't received the payment for a couple of days and I thought, oh, I don't think, I think he's going to ask me to cancel the sale or something. He maybe bid too much, but uh, no, that's not what happened. They actually did pay, so I, I was really happy with that. Um, number nine, another good sale actually Panasonic MV HV60. I paid four ninety nine in my favourite charity shop actually, and um, yeah, and then obviously I got a scart lead for two pound off eBay, uh, which then brought my total up to seven pounds. So I got fifty pound for this free postage within I'd say about a week. So I was really really happy with that, and uh, it was a nice sale overall. So here's the sale you came for. This is the big one that people will have been waiting for, been wanting to see throughout this sales update. And number 10 is a Hero Quest brand new and sealed expansion pack that I found in a charity shop. Now I found two of them for £80 and um, I was really, really happy with that. Obviously one was £45, the other was £35. Um, I've got the other one listed for £150 still, so it's still uh, available to sell for £150 um, as of this moment. And I sold this one, which was I believe the return of the Witch Lord, for £130, so I was really, really happy with that. Obviously, that £130 recoups my entire investment on both of them and uh, gives me a little bit of profit. And then my other one, I think it's uh, Keller's Keep, the other one, um, will, which is yet to sell, will be pure profit after postage and fees of that £150. So really, really happy with that. Amazing find. You don't really find these Hero Quest expansion packs in charity shops, especially sealed, brand new and sealed, that is pretty crazy to find in a charity shop. Um, you obviously you may find them from time to time used in a charity shop, but new and sealed, that is pretty amazing. So I was really, really excited when I found those. I was really excited to list them, and I did kind of go top end, knowing that I wouldn't find these again, so I was quite happy to wait. Did take about two months, three months to sell, but as I say, I was really happy to wait on that. So that concludes the sales update and we've actually come in under 10 minutes for once. Um, I was aware that sometimes I run over, so I kind of wanted on this update to, to not run over and get in below that 10 minute mark. So I'm really happy I did that. Again, if you like the video, as always, please do leave a thumbs up down below. If you've got any questions or queries about anything you've seen in today's video, please drop them in the comment section below. And that is everything from me today, so I will see you in the next video, guys. See you very soon.